Hello everybody, Boreda, and today we're going to be doing some work on advertisements and we're going to be working on thinking about the features of an advertisement ready for our writing tomorrow. Now, who remembers the fantastic AE2021 transporter bot that I drew for you yesterday? This is my robot, the one that's going to be able to take me to Anglesey in a flash using all its, all its fantastic features. Um, it's twin jet, it's twin jet pack for super fast air travel. It's water jet propeller for skiing across water. It's destination programmer screen. Remember all those fantastic features? Well, to, when I want to sell my transporter bot to other people, I'll have to get an advert for it, won't I? I'll have to make an advertisement. So today we're going to be looking about what's important to include in an advertisement. Okay. So advertisements are used to sell things. They are di directed at a certain group of people. So my group of people for my robot would be people who want to travel. And we, they use really careful, uh, positive language so what, that makes the people that re see the advert or read it think, I must have that thing. Tomorrow, when we're writing our advert, we're going to be looking at the language um, that we'll have to use to write a fantastic advert. So we start off with a snappy slogan. So that's a little tagline, a few words that help you remember a product. Okay, let's see if you recognize any of these. Tesco, what do they always say? Every little helps. What about compare the market? Compare the meerkat.com. Smarties, they say only Smarties have the answer. KFC, does anybody know the tagline for that? The slogan, it's called It's Finger Licking and Skittles say taste the rainbow, okay? So the next thing we have to think of, we have to try and tempt the people who see our advert, make them feel that they must have that thing, they need it. So you might see advertisements for um, creams, like face creams, look at this one. It's arrived, a light cream that fights seven signs of aging. That makes me feel I better go out and get some of this. Or at Christmas time, who has Ferrero Rocher? Look what it says, look what it's, how it describes it, precious, like the people we love. And this one here is for Lunchables and it says 40% less sugar, still 100% fun. So they're all trying to tempt you and make you feel like you really, really need that product, okay? So when you're writing your advertisement, you're going to have to think about why the person looking at the advert will really want a robot just like yours. Sometimes they include an interesting question to get the person who's looking interested. So look, Dr. Pepper, who's heard that advert? What's the worst that could happen? Or Cadbury's Cream Egg, they always ask, how will you eat yours? So it makes you start to think, doesn't it, about the different ways you could eat the chocolate? Or Nike, so now what's your excuse? So if you've got this pair of fantastic super fast trainers, you'll definitely need to go out to exercise then, won't you? Let's look at the next one. They also use exaggeration in adverts. That means they make it sound even better than it is. Okay, so you think of ways of making you think this thing is really fantastic. So for example, Cadbury's chocolates say that they're the nation's favourite, that they're everybody in the whole country's favourite chocolate. Look at this one here, it's called Milky Bar Wowsums. 30% less sugar, but 100% delicious. Do you think it's really 100% delicious? P Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Do you think they've really got better ingredients than all the other pizza shops? But they want to make you think they do, don't they? And look at this work, one for crumpets. It says, what mornings were made for. Do you really think that mornings were made for Warburton's crumpets? But it's a good way of making you think you'd like one, isn't it? Now, we've been working last week on adjectives. And here are some adjectives that you might want to use tomorrow when you're doing your advertisement for your robot, okay? These are all things that make these your, th your robot sound fantastic. So guaranteed, life-changing, exciting, super, unbelievable, marvellous, outstanding. So when you do your writing tomorrow, you can come back and look at this PowerPoint and perhaps see if any of these words are useful for you. Now today, 
Okay, our job is a bit interesting, okay? I am going to upload two adverts onto our web page for you to look at. And I want you to see if you can spot any of these special features of an advertisement in the two adverts I post, okay? So there's one about Baby Bell. Have they put in a snappy slogan? Have they given you tempting descriptions of the benefits, why you'd want to have some Baby Bell? Has it asked you any interesting questions? Do they exaggerate? And are there any appealing adjectives that you might want to use in your advert in the advertisement? So there's two advertisements for you to have a look at and to fill in this chart for. First of all, the one for Baby Bell, and I've done one for the one for Lidl, the supermarket. Okay, so you can do those two advertisements, or if you prefer, if you've got a favourite advert on TV, then you could fill in a chart based on your favourite advert. Okay, it's up to you. So that's it for me for now. I'll look forward to seeing what you learn about adverts today. And then tomorrow, we're going to be ready to write some splendid adverts about our robots. Okay? Bye, everybody.